So viewer has asked the question, what about Putin's actions towards Finland if they join NATO? So that's what this will be about. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, subscribe. It helps. It's, it's important. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, the one thing we know is that Russia is scared of NATO. It seems to be the only thing that stops them from doing anything. So why wouldn't uh, Finland want to be uh, aligned with NATO? But how are the Russians going to act if that happens? So that's what we'll ask the cards and uh, should be interesting. Okay, so uh, the viewer asks, what about Putin's actions towards Finland if they join NATO? What about Putin's actions towards Finland if they join uh, NATO. That's interesting. I'm not sure um, how the cards would respond to an if question. So what about um, Putin's specifically reactions towards Finland if they join NATO? Let's have a little meditation. Okay. Putin's reaction towards Finland if they join NATO. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Putin's reaction to NATO if, uh, towards Finland rather, if they join NATO. Signifier card, look at this. This is um, <laughs> loss, emotional loss. So this is Putin really worrying over what he's lost, okay? So this is almost predictive as if, yeah, this is gonna happen. Um, not understanding there's something left here up on the shelf. Putin's reaction is uh, worrying over loss. The uh, challenge to that is this Knight of Wands. Wands are actions, plans, motions, forward movement. The Knight is fighting for that. So the plans uh, would be the joining of NATO, and the Knight would be fighting for that. And so that's the challenge to Putin's sorrow over his loss. The basis of this reading with this King of Pentacles is um, understanding your worth. And I have to say the King of Pentacles in this uh, uh, example here is feminine. The past of this reading is the Seven of Wands. Uh, the Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And this Seven of Wands tells us, look, look, there's a lot of uh, things here to uh, overcome. You're able to get over them. You have a plan in your hand to deal with that. So that's how they're approaching this. And the sky of this reading is uh, with this Nine of Cups. This is absolutely um, um, wanting to sh display your emotional value. Again, this is Finland. And then the uh, final outcome then is the uh, three of swords, a broken heart. And it's very appropriate because the question is, uh, what is uh, Putin's uh, reaction to towards Finland if they join NATO? Look, he's going to worry over the uh, loss. He's challenged by Finland's actions, fighting for their actions. The basis of the whole thing is the value, the king of value for the whole thing. The past of this reading, the seven of uh, wands, is uh, understanding you can get over some obstacles. You can get over these plans. That's Finland. The sky of this reading is the uh, nine of cups, displaying your emotional trophies, Finland. And then the final uh, outcome, uh, Putin's reaction, is just a broken heart. Pretty appropriate. Of course, you can never really predict how these things are going to come out. And after all, it is just tarot. So uh, let's see uh, how that works out and let me know what you thought. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so this is the Connolly Tarot by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And this is, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards. But these are very nice cards to use. I love them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys, um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things uh, spiritual. Um, and then so she kind of conceived of this thing. Then she got her son... Uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager. But she got him to design the cards, and uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collins. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils, 
uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the West Coast, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical, easy to read uh, tarot card. And I put them out like this so that you can take a look at them too. You know, everybody likes to see something different. And uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.